The telescope was one of the great inventions of the early 17th century. It was discovered by accident by a Dutch lens maker known as Hans Lippehey and quickly found applications both in the military, in trade and also in science, particularly in astronomy. During this short video, I'm going to try and explain some of the basic physics behind the telescope and show you how you can make your own out of a few simple bits and pieces. It is well known that lenses can be used to project images of objects onto screens. This is one of the properties that makes lenses so useful for telescopes. A single lens on its own, however, tends to be of very limited use because the image you get is very small. Lenses can, however, be used in another way. If you place a lens on a piece of paper and then slowly start to lift it, you can see another application of the lens. The lens acts as a magnifying glass. As you move it away, the image gets bigger and bigger. But this only works up to a certain point, And then the image goes blurry and then is inverted as it starts to cast an image as we have previously seen. A lot of people misunderstand how to use magnifying glasses, holding the magnifying glass close to the eye rather than close to the page. Of course, you can have a lot of fun doing this, making yourself look rather stupid. The trick in building a telescope is to combine both of these techniques. I'll show you what I mean. The trick is to use one lens to shine an image of your object onto a screen as we've previously seen. The problem, however, is that this image is very, very small. But if you now take a second lens, you can use this lens as a magnifying glass. And by doing this, you can increase the apparent size of the image. Telescopes work by combining two lenses in the way we've just seen. But there is a little bit more to that. To see what I mean, I'll show you a couple of demonstrations. These two lenses are both different. The one on the left is a fatter lens. It is more powerful. It bends the light by a lot more than the thinner lens that we've got on the right. If I place them both on the paper and then slowly start to lift them together, you will notice an immediate difference. The one on the left magnifies the image by far more and hence it makes the better magnifying glass. Let's now examine the images formed by each of these lenses. First of all, the more powerful, fatter lens. As you can see, it forms a nice bright image on the screen, but the image is very, very small, very difficult to make out. The flat, less powerful lens on the other hand, also forms an image, but the image this time is much bigger. So an ideal telescope requires two very different kind of lenses. A thin, low power lens to create an image, and then a thick, high power lens to magnify the image. Let's see this in action. I'm going to take the powerful lens first and just hold it in front of the camera. Now I'm going to take the less powerful lens and you'll be able to see it in front. And if I hold it just the right distance away, it might take a moment just to find that point, you'll be able to see when you look towards that lens, a magnified image of the posters in the background. There, I think I more or less have it in focus now. And that is how a telescope works. All that remains to be done now is to improve the design. We can do that by using two nesting cardboard tubes. Then we fit one lens to one end of the tube and one lens to the other end of the opposite tube. By sliding the tubes in and out, we can then focus our image. I'm just going to use a little bit of tape to stick, first of all, a powerful lens on here. You've got to be a little bit careful that you don't obscure too much of the lens, otherwise you won't get much light coming through. So I'm just going to use some tape. I'm going to stretch all the way around it, holding it securely in place like so. And then on the other side, I've just cut some grooves in the tube so that the other lens, the thin one, can sit just nestled inside the tube like so. And then once again, a little bit of sellotape all the way around the edge just to hold 
that lens in place and stop it falling out. And voila, there is my telescope. All you have to do now is find something to look at and adjust the focus.